So long gone are the days of vegan hood where innocence was once kept. It's such a different mindset. Back in the day, we're raw vegan. Everything's fresh and vibrant and colorful. The fruits and vegetables, that's what's healing. Salads and mono meals of fruit versus what I'm doing now. I'm like frying beef in a pan. I bought an air fryer. We're crusting stuff. It's fatty meat. Cholesterol is good now. Very different mindsets, but I feel a million times better doing this. So this is what I eat in an entire week. One meal a day. Let me fly towards my hands. Towards my hands. So day one, I air fried me up some lamb loin chops. And lamb is my spirit animal. I just, I feel best on lamb. But I do well with beef and other animals. So we air fry that little crisp factor. And delicious they were. I had that with eggs and I added flax oil to the eggs. I had two tins of salmon that day. I was just hungry as a hippo and the lamb loin chop. So that was the entire meal for the day. My only complaint right now is that my skin still isn't perfect with the tiny forehead bumps. Could be entirely skincare based. I don't know. I've switched over to beef tallow soap and moisturizer. So we're doing that. I don't know, it's not better. Day two, I decided to scramble some eggs. That kind of sucked. And I added flax oil to it. And I bought an actual rotisserie chicken. Organic, of course, at the Big Carrot. And so that was a little treat day. Barely had to cook. It's fun to do. I ate more than half of that. There was only like one leg left and a breast. I just devour that thing. And I eat to satiation. I try not to overeat. I don't want nausea. Sometimes I get it and I overeat and I'm like, damn it, little queasy feeling. But for the most part, energy out the yin yang, mental clarity, everything's good except the skin we talked about. That was day two. Day three, we're still doing eggs over easy. I seem to be having eggs every day, adding the flax oil to that. The rest of my rotisserie chicken leftovers and I air fried a ribeye steak with lamb fat trimmings. I found lamb fat at a store and I was like, yeah, I've always wanted that because I bought beef suet. I don't know, man. Lamb is my spirit animal. So a little crispy lamb fat in your life. It works. It works. Day four, I mixed ground lamb with ground beef because the lamb is like super fatty and the grass fed beef was so lean. I was like, why not combine the two? And I did that. I also forgot to film it until I almost ate everything. So we have like one egg left, the ground lamb and beef mix, and I didn't add flax oil this time. I'm definitely considering not doing that anymore. Once I run out of the bottle, we're done, I think, at least for a while. Day five, I pressure cooked some Korean short ribs and then air fried them. Little lamb fat in there. I also bought a lamb heart and I air fried that. Four eggs cooked in tallow. And this time I just bought a bottle of cod liver oil. Now shut your mouth, first of all. I know, it's a weird thing to buy. I know the vitamin A is poison guy exists and he's like, oh my God, you're gonna kill yourself. I just wanted to see what would happen. Am I deficient in these nutrients? You're looking at a former vegan here who is deficient in everything. So like vitamin A and D and that, and then DHA, omega-3s, cod liver, sounds disgusting. Whatever, man, we're just trying it. I wanna see what happens. Does it clear my skin? Do I feel better? Do my teeth get stronger? Everything's turning around for the better, so I'm happy. So will that help or hinder me? I don't know, we're testing. Day six was a rare treat. This is not something I do very often, but I'm filming seven days in a row and this is what happened that week. Let me know if you want me to keep doing this every day. So we just do what I eat in a week, every week. So I went to an all you can eat sushi buffet with my fiance and I ended up having 22 pieces of salmon sashimi, 21 pieces of butterfish, they brought me two extra and one. I ordered 20 of both, but usually they bring less. They brought more. 
I got 24 rolls of just plain salmon sushi and 12 rolls of salmon mango sushi. That was the cleanest I've ever eaten at a sushi buffet. Usually I'm tempted by like the teriyaki salmons, maybe like a salmon skin roll and maybe there's a bit of temper in there. I'm like, ah, whatever. This was the cleanest I've ever done. And I equate that to me just being so nourished and balanced and not addicted to anything as a carnivore. Cause I'm just like, I'm happy. I'm not like looking for satisfying ultra delicious meals. Like I'm just nourished. So like I was able to withstand the temptations of all these fun things, spicy mayo on the salmon, like no, this was clean and I felt good. Felt good all that night. I stayed up late and I was like hyper stimulated from the rice or something. But like I felt so good. It was good. And on the last day of the week, we had a chuck roast that I air fried. I did not cook that properly. It was kind of chewy and I don't know how to do that. So like, I'm still learning. I'm a meat noob and it's annoying that like, I know you could prepare meats in the best way possible. It's so tender and juicy and I have no idea what I'm doing. So I did the chuck roast. It was still satisfying. I had three duck eggs this time. I had the cod liver oil that day and a bit of beef fat. Usually when I cook something fatty in the air fryer, I save those fat drippings and I put them in the fridge. And sometimes if I'm still hungry, a little fat on something, a little tallow on the steak, it works. So that was an entire week of what I ate. Fairly balanced. If you consider meats, different meats to be balanced to other meats. I had a couple plants in there, white rice, very benign, low fiber, a mango, huh? fruit and meat, anyone? I did it for a day. It was not bad. But like, I just, I feel best just doing the fat. Fat and protein, we're done. We don't need extra little things. So with those, I take my enzymes. We're good, happy and fun. Just the skin, hopefully one day I will have perfect skin. Don't know why it's taken so long, but it is what it is. So how are you doing? Did you also eat like this? You could thumb up the video, even if you didn't eat like that. Thumbs down if you eat porridge ever. It's full of glyphosate. It's genetically modified, most likely. It has stabby fiber. It's high in omega-6. It makes you tired. Just like Goldilocks, he, she ate oatmeal and she fell asleep, didn't she? And she chose the wrong bed and a bear likely came in and had his way. What? Is that? I'm gonna leave. Are you, are you subscribing for more videos? I'll see you next time.